വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അനദർ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഓഫ് ഐ എച്ച് എൻ എ ഐ എച്ച് എം കരിയർ ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ ടുഡേ വി വാണ്ട് ടു ടോക്ക് ടു അബൌട്ട് സംതിങ് വെരി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ആസ് യു നോ നോ മെനി ഓഫ് ഫേഴ്സ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർലി മൈഗ്രൻസ് നോ ദ they would have start working for a long time work for a short time but many of many of us actually have a dream of become an entrepreneur becoming an entrepreneur in australia is an exciting thing and there are also a number of things you can actually get in terms of support and also sometimes even as funding from australian government or state or territory governments so i was lucky to get such one of such grants last year for innovation which you know i'm still working on um you know launching the product and i wanted to talk a bit about my experience and also some information about what are those some of those um, available opportunities and also funding availability and even other services available for startups or to promote entrepreneurship in australia so there are a number of uh, support uh, you can get for um, for a business no particularly for small and uh, medium scale business for example if you are already an existing business there is an opportunity for you to get advisors to come or experts to come and evaluate your business and see you know in terms of identify growth areas and it's it, those kind of fundings or those kind of services are free or at a very reasonable cost depends on what funding opportunity or what funding is available one of the other option is um, about supply chain for some times you know you might have uh, a number of uh, different supply chain but there may be a growth opportunity to expand your supply chain and then you know these consultants or experts uh, actually provide you those guidance and support to see how you can expand your business other one is growth services uh, let's say you know you are in one particular business and uh, you are trying to see where, what is one particular area you can focus in terms of developing your business and there are skilled advisors who can provide uh, those advice there is also grants incubator support and we are going to talk about those different things so primarily two things one is about grants you know different kinds of grants available and the second is actually about other support services like you know uh, advisors or consultants who what other professional development opportunities an entrepreneur can get in the beginning to start uh, or you know to have an incubator or to have a startup so there are different services uh, so for example i live in darwin and in nt um, this support is provided by treaty business consulting and if you look at every state you primarily if you look at uh, business.gov.au that's a website business.gov.au it actually provides you all the different programs available in australia to f- uh, for supporting incubation or for startups and also the fundings available in different states and it also provides you information on which are the organizations in each state uh, who actually have been funded to provide you, provide uh, entrepreneurs this support or to provide startups this support so all of this support is not directly uh, dealt or handled by government in some areas yes or in some of those yes but in some areas where you know there is a lot of grassroots level of uh advice or support is required they've actually given a funding to other organizations who actually then work from different areas in australia or different states or territories in australia and provide that uh support to small and medium scale businesses so just to add on with on my my own story you know i when i had an idea i went to one of those uh, entrepreneurship facilitator services which i was telling you earlier the name treaty business consulting so they've got this um, funding in darwin to run this or in nt north territory to run this program for australian government so the program is known as entrepreneurship facilitator services so they do a a, a number of uh, services uh, for the participants of this program and there is no particular criteria for you to become a participant you when you go talk to them you know one of the consultants with them take an appointment and talk to them and then actually they will identify if you are eligible uh, to join the program i think they do give preference to two sets of people one is for mature mature age uh, people so because sometimes uh, in the employment market there is an age discrimination you know not, may not be everywhere but sometimes it happens and then mature age people find it challenging or make it it's make make it very difficult for them to come back to work 
So the government support them to have their own business. That's one. Second, people who get redundancy. Sometimes things change with organizations. You know, it's a very uh, volatile environment these days. So business focus can change in such situations. So when a restructure happens, people may lose jobs and that end up in, you know, someone become redundant. So in such cases, people may, you know, having a time of thinking what they want to do next and they may be thinking of having a startup or starting something on small scale. So these two uh, um, set of people actually get a preferential treatment with uh, EFS, but that doesn't mean that others don't get an option. You know, it all depends on what you have in hand and how the EF, uh, the entrepreneurship facilitators can provide you the support. So I went to one of uh, you know one of such meetings with uh, this particular facilitator services in Darwin, and you know I shared them uh, my idea, and I said you know this is something that I think uh, I can get funding under business innovation support scheme in Darwin, in NT under the NT government. So the Department of Business and Innovation runs a, a BC voucher scheme, which is primarily for business innovation and also to promote entre entrepreneurship and support. Uh, startups in NT uh, and if you have a novel idea you know you can actually provide them a proposal they go through your proposal um, they see you know whether it's a novel idea is it really worthwhile to give you the money and it's more of a dollar to dollar so you can get um, in the first phase $25,000 uh, where you also have to keep um, invest the same $25,000 from your hand um, yes it's a bit of money but you know you wanted to actually uh, bring your idea to reality so that's a huge support from uh, this funding what else uh, as, a, as a participant of the entrepreneurship facilitator services this is once you get the funding the you know the the facilitators actually helps you to um, look at your grant application you know if they if there is any change required you know they will advise you the changes they will actually brainstorm with you what are the different things what you mentioned is enough or you know you need to have more information so they are actually experts and they will actually look at your application thoroughly to understand whether this is a you know reasonably good application and they will give you evaluation so that you can actually improve your application so some of those uh, services EFS offers is one is one-on-one -on -one advice so they provide you that advice uh, and you know and not just for the funding application but as once you become a participant in the facilitator services program you they will actually take you, you know to ensure that you not just getting the funding rather you actually implementing your idea into you know reality so they will basically help you with ensuring that you get all the support throughout to ensure that you know you think about the resources you do a business planning you know maybe for one year two years if you're working and then you're doing this parallelly along with your work how uh, you can actually either manage both or you know when when can you transition you know because when you start business it's not something that you can maybe after a point of time it may not be easy to handle both hand in hand you need to actually spend a lot of time and energy into the business particularly in the initial phase so you get all the support from you know not only just advice but also that mental support of what is a good transition phase where you want to make that decision of you know stand by your own so if you wanted to have that one dream and you want to achieve entrepreneurship facilitators are actually there to help you to you know walk your hand walk, walk with you and to help you out so they also offer the mentoring service so they you know a number of sessions you can book in with them and they see what are your strengths you know what is that some of the areas for improvement so they based they actually worked based on a strength based approach you know they support you where you are strong and then they actually also support you where you need some assistance and this can be done face to face or online sometimes you if you are unable to do it due to you know the challenges of the location it doesn't it, you doesn't have to be uh, uh, you know having this face to face it can be online so they they uh, do it via skype or you know zoom or whichever mode of uh, communication is available and that's particularly good for people who live in regional or remote areas for sometimes uh, someone who lives in let's say in one of the regional area in um, um, in Melbourne uh, or in Victoria, they may not be able to have this face-to-face -face session, so they can actually get these online sessions. The other things they do is uh, they actually also help you to create 
uh, your idea so primarily it's called ideation so you have got an idea but you wanted to develop that as a business uh, so you know there is an ideation process where actually you need to develop your idea you have to uh, get the business sense to it and you know it has to make sense to the uh, funders who are looking at your funding application and taking it to the next level you know maybe you the initial phase is funding and then you actually you know st start up the business and you may be launching it locally or on a state wise first and then you may want to go to australia wide in such situations you may need more funding and you know government may not be as i said government provides you to start up but you know if you wanted a bigger money government alone cannot help that's where the investors comes in so sometimes you know you have to pitch it to the investors based on how much fund you need the entrepreneurship facilitators also provides information on how you pitch to investors they actually do workshops with you you can attend some of the workshops free with them there is no cost attached to it uh, primarily to make you understand how do you pitch to an investor and then you know make sure that you pitch in the right um, you know business sense and also with Uh, right information because many times investors wants to know you know what where are you going uh, in terms of your business planning you know what's the return on investment after 2 years or 3 years or 5 years so you need to have those planning in place beforehand so that when you pitch it you're confident in your pitching and also you can actually provide such very credible information or you know you can work if if possible if based on what the industry provides the data industry provides you know you can look at what evidence you can actually show them to see where the business is going in the next 3 to 5 years so all those uh, assistance in terms of developing a idea and pitching to the investors the entrepreneurship facilitator services does that for me you know i haven't gone to the pitching phase i've actually went with the idea i you know i wanted some help with my grant application and i've got that I've, i was successful to get the grant for first phase and now the second phase i'm looking on commercializing you know the product into the market so first in the northern territory and what the entrepreneurship facilitator services does is they help me to test the product so for example before the product goes into the product or services whichever before it goes to the market you want to see Uh, you know how people feel the look and feel of the product and then you know what improvements you want to make before you hit the market so you know facilitators provide that service they will you know look at your service and tell you know they tell you what's what's there you know what's not there so that you can actually do the changes needed or you know based on the recommendations and suggestions uh, before you go into the production and finally launch your product they also give you uh, business model canvassing so this is professional uh, experts they actually help you to um, make you understand you know how the business model work and then you know use a number of different tools or models to show you how you can actually develop your business so you know whether is it a two year you know um, initial phase or one year you know how and how you in terms of resources and other things how you are going to make this work so they do it through a, you know one of the tool they use is like business model canvassing so everything in one page so they make you think in such a structured way as you know when you start a business you got so many ideas you have so many content and it's so hard to make it into a one page you know one of the tough thing because i have gone through it myself and it was very hard to make how you make the entire idea into one page so they push you to think in such a structured way so that your thoughts are clear and you exactly want to know where you, you where do you want to go and also in terms of you know how when you structure your thinking it actually clarify the thoughts of you know what is that you wanted to achieve rather than going for so many different things you know you actually prioritize your um your work so that that business is actually going in the right direction so i think it's a good model in terms of uh you know clarifying those thoughts in the beginning because many times when you don't have such directions you have challenges in terms of how you you know clarify your thoughts and then bring it to that life they also other than the business model canvassing you know they also provide you uh, they call so all these entrepreneurship facilitators they actually work in collaboration with so many different government agencies and you know even the other support services within the industry so they are actually aware of Uh, what are the different kinds of um, collaborations you may be able to do in the industry and also what are the other opportunities you can actually tap into 
particularly in that initial phase so what they do is they refer you to other services and i uh, for me it worked really well when i went to the facilitator services you know i had saw a two other ideas and i asked them what are the other services i can actually use and they give me refer to a number of other services including austrade and you know aus industry which is australian trade and industry uh, where also they refer to some other uh, government agencies and some non government agencies who does digital marketing or social media marketing you know things like that because some of those were needed for me in the beginning of my um, idea generation and which was a great uh, way of gaining more knowledge and gaining more insights and it's not only that the one of the uh, the best thing i ventured is i when i went and met with some of them i was really amazed with the kind of global exposure and experience they have in the business and the amount of uh, you know the knowledge transfer in terms of sharing the knowledge about the business they have was uh, really an eye opener for me in terms of understanding my business better so entrepreneurship facilitator service is a great service uh, you can actually uh, you know uh, as i said when you look at the business.gov.au you should be able to see who uh, are the different uh, facilitator services in each state and you can actually contact any of them if you wanted to talk to them about an idea and then if you have a plan to start a business by yourself and it doesn't matter it's a big or small uh, you know because australia if you know about australian business 95% of australian business are small and med- comes within small and medium scale so that's the biggest um, business area within australia so australia values the small and medium scale business a lot and they always want to support small businesses now you the question the first com- question comes is whether you know any new migrant or you know whether is there any any, any eligibility there is no such thing as el- eligibility for these uh, services anyone is eligible if you have an idea you are eligible or even if you don't have an idea but you wanted to explore what are different options if you wanted to be self employed you can still meet with them to understand the different options just to see the different options in the market and the second interesting part of this is there is no cost this is funded particularly the entrepreneurship facilitator service is funded by australian government so there is no cost attached to it unless you take some uh, specific service from the consultants where you know they will always advise you about if there is a cost attached to it before you take that service so otherwise in general there is no cost attached to this service what some of those other things you know i did say that uh, efs it's it's a lot about ideas and self self employment what else it covers so it actually as i said yes so it it is primarily about practical support for business and even if you have a research idea and you wanted to do research uh, for you know finding something new you know you wanted to uh, you have an idea but you you don't know uh, un- until you do more research into it you can do that there is also funding available under that research and sometimes um, when the idea is very novel and the some of these services the funding agency sees that you know it is uh, more appropriate for to for them to invest as well they also invest um, in such projects so it it's totally up to them but it depends on the commercialization of your project and uh, most of the grants as i said it's co-funded and you know it's it's a free like it's a free grant primarily if you invest 50% so it's a dollar to dollar investment but then the government supporting you with the half of the investment for you know recognizing your novel idea now you know you created like for my own example i said you know i've got this funding in the beginning to start with my project and then you know bringing it to life for reality you need uh, you know as you know any for any particularly for any new ideas you need the same amount of money for commercializing or marketing it so there is funding available for that as well uh, you can actually apply for funding for comm- so it's called accelerating commercialization grant you can apply for those in two uh, one is in a in a state level so the same program as i said you know the department of business trade and business innovation in northern territory they uh, support uh, commercialization grant with about, about $30000 uh and that's primarily for a state launch so if i wanted to launch my project in in northern territory i get this uh for the grant for commercializing my project uh let's say you know i i was successful and you know, i wanted to go further i want to launch this project across australia wide there is also accelerating commercialization grant by austrade 
which is up to one million dollars again it's a dollar to dollar investment so you know whatever the funding you get uh, you actually have to show them uh, the total cost for the project and then how you are actually going to fund the you now the the 50 percent of that funding so it's not uh, something that you just get fully funded it's always uh, a dollar to dollar so government matches your investment so uh, but normally when you go to this entrepreneurship facilitator services they always uh, uh, suggest unless you know that you know an idea is like a uber or you know something which is totally new or you know then that that that's something that they will advise you to go straight nationally or internationally but otherwise uh, for most of the ideas what they would advise is to go to the state first and launch in the state that way you actually get an opportunity to test the you know in a smaller market size and then you know fix things if there are things to be fixed and then you go national so that you can actually uh, gain more confidence and also ensure that you actually making a you know a more safer approach and very good advantage I found, uh, you know, going through across this all these different uh, facilitator services and and also government agencies. Uh, uh, I found a lot of networking opportunities with it. So I met with a lot of people. Otherwise, I would have not met. And many of them actually, you know, it's not just about sharing knowledge, but I would say it was also about sharing wisdom. So a lot of uh, you know very experienced professionals uh, and even the entrepreneurship facilitator services they do a lot of uh, such work though you know primarily they've got a background in business or being an entrepreneur or have you know they had a startup in the past so they actually have that wealth of knowledge and experience to share with you so it was a great knowing many of them and now from national you wanted to go international you know some projects you may have a global scope and you wanted to go and market your product or service internationally there is Austrade, Australian Trade and Commission where they actually support Australian business to go to international markets. So they will actually give you the information about different opportunities in different countries. So which market is actually accessible or you know available or something that your business is actually can go and uh, develop. And they also provide you opportunity if they see uh, good exhibitions. You know, for example, one is uh, Dubai Expo. You know, if you look at Dubai Expo or Australia goes there and you know if your business is a novel idea which they think is a good uh, one to exhibit in Dubai Expo you know why not they will actually take you along with the team and you will have an opportunity to exhibit your product or service in an international market. So as I said all these services are on a national level and also on state level and the primary resource for this is uh, business if you go to the website business.gov.au you actually get all the information on the services provided for entrepreneurs and then it actually links you or you know redirect you to the other websites where you get you find other information about each state and uh, territory thank you so much for listening to us today i know there are so many uh, migrants now become entrepreneurs and it is great to see some of them are actually doing really well with the business so we would really like to see more migrants starting their own you know ventures and well you know rather than just being employed also providing employment opportunities to other fellow australians thank you for watching another episode of ihn ihm career australia we'll see you next time bye